This is a brief video to explain multiple sequence alignment. It's a way of looking at the uh, first hand at the close relationships of amino acid sequences. And we're going to look at the human hemoglobins and how evolution via gene duplication and mutation has yielded proteins with slightly different functions. We use different hemoglobins at different states of our development from the embryo all the way to adult. And these can be, we're going to use a tool that's called uh, Clustal W2, and that's running on a little supercomputer uh, in uh, Hinkston, England. And uh, we'll go there in just a second, but first I want to copy these amino acid sequences, and these are, what are in what we call the FASTA format. In the FASTA format, they have a uh, carrot and then an identifier. You can make it longer if you wish. It just has to end at a hard return, start with a carrot and end with a hard return, and then all the sequences are in one-letter codes, and they are here. And then we'll move over to uh, the tool, the Clustal W website, and then we'll paste in our sequence. And once it's pasted in, we'll submit it and see what the, sequence, what the data looks like when it comes out. Jobs currently running. Uh, Hinkston's a very nice little town right outside of uh, near Cambridge. I actually played uh, cricket there once. And here's our results. And you can see that the uh, sequence alignments, you can see where there's spaces. That means there's been an insertion. Are there spaces here? There's deletions of some of these relative to others. You can, uh, so you can actually even look at these in color. So there are lot, the similar colors. The hydro, uh, the aliphatic amino acids are in red. The uh, acidic ones are in blue. The uh, ones that have that can hydrogen bond are, uh, have uh, are green, the um, and so so on. So you can see that's a nice comparison. Also, there are little dots down here. Two dots mean a similar amino acid. Uh, one uh, and then a, a star means it's an unchanged amino acid. All means all the sequences have the same one. So you see these are quite similar, and we can look at the uh, the result summary and. Here we can go and see the percentage. So here is alpha is uh, to beta is 42.9% identical. Alpha to epsilon is 37. Alpha to gamma is 40% identical. Alpha to zeta is 59% identical. And alpha to delta is 52% identical. So you can get the percentage. And so then here's beta and the relationship of the others to beta. So it's kind of interesting, interesting information that we can get from this. But the multiple sequence alignment tells us that we have uh, similar genes that have produced similar proteins and we've got gene duplications and some mutations to give us different functions of those genes. Very good.